Down is high. Duke is low. Ball is right. And win the go. On court chart. Thank you very much, everybody. You're a kind audience as always. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gerald Heron. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Card Sharks, a game of decisions where you can win a fortune on a turn of a single card. We already dealt out the cards, and let's meet our card sharks for today. It's our returning champion, Kevin Henry. How you doing? Good, sir. How are you tonight? I'm doing very well. He's got $4,300 in his pocket, and if he can win four more games, he'll be driving out of this brand new Ford Fiesta. Let's hear a little bit about it. It's the Ford Fiesta SE Hatchback. Comes with a 1.6 liter engine, front wheel drive, six speed automatic transmission, and patent fabric protection. This car is worth $20,432. So what do you think of that car? It sounds like an awesome car. I'm a Ford driver myself. That's very nice to hear. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm still a truck driver from near Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I've been a big game show enthusiast since I was a little kid. And um, tonight I'd like to give a shout out to my son, Andrew, who is the owner and operator of three different YouTube channels, uh, affectionately known as the Andy Roo Channel. Hi there, Andrew. And yes, I've been a game show enthusiast ever since I was a little kid as well. And I also focus on other things other than game shows. And you'll be challenging Justin Ray today. How you doing there, Justin? I'm doing pretty good. That's good. Thank you. No problem. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am 29 years old. I'm working currently at a fast food restaurant called Zaxby's uh, in a little town called Clinton, Tennessee. I'm a huge game show enthusiast from from about one year old till now. Big fan of the ones from the 90s. And I'm looking to win big money. This is one of my favorite games. I've seen every incarnation of it from the Perry era all the way up to Bill Rafferty uh, through reruns, of course. So I'm hoping to hit it big tonight. Glad to hear that. You also saw the uh, ill-fated 2001 version, right? Um, that one I did not watch at all. You might want to check that out. It's not a good... It's not a good format. You'll see for yourself when you have the time. Okay. Anyways, you both cut the cards? We sure did. Yep. All right, everybody knows how to play card sharks. The first question will go to the champion, and that will be Kevin. Kevin, we asked 100 men who are business executives. If Jimmy Carter applied for a job, would you hire him? How many of these 100 business executives say they would? Well, you know, uh, Jimmy Carter, obviously a uh, former president, but, you know, very, very respected. And uh, the problem with Carter nowadays is he's very high there in age. I believe he's in his 90s. So with that question being asked today, I do not believe a lot of executives would hire him. So I'm going to go low ball and say 20. 20 out of 100 business executives say that they would hire Jimmy Carter. Justin, do you think that's higher or lower than 20? Mm, I'd say just a skosh higher. A probably, yeah, probably just a tiny bit higher. It ain't going to be much more. All right, a skosh bit higher. I never heard of that word, by the way. <laughs> that's a for you. It means a little bit. Anyways, yeah. the actual number of business executives said that if Jimmy Carter applied for a job, they would hire him is... 18, it's not higher, it's lower by two. Good call there, Kevin, good call. Thank you, sir. That was pretty close. Anyways, Kevin, your first card is a seven. Let's change that seven, Alex. All right, the seven is now a three. Let's go higher, Alex. Higher than a three, a 10. Let's go lower, Alex. He's a gambler, lower a six. 
Let's freeze, Alex. All right, he's going to play it safe, freezing on the sixth. That becomes his new base card. And, Justin, the second question will go to you. All right. We asked 100 plumbers, have you ever gotten a part of your body stuck in the pipe? How many of these plumbers said they, yes, they have? Oh, that's, that's I'd say, an everyday occurrence. Uh, I'm going to say that's a high number, let's say around... Uh, 75. 75 out of 100 plumbers said they got a part of their body stuck in the pipe. Kevin, do you think that's higher or lower than 75? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask what part of the body. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> hey. Well, no pun intended, but I'm going lower. You say lower. There's only one man who would think of a disgusting body part. Who do you think that could be? Howard Stern? Steve Harvey, probably. <laughs> yes, if you haven't watched the Family Feud episode of Steve Harvey, you'll know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. I know. The actual number of plumbers said they've gotten a part of their body stuck in, inside a pipe is... 48. It is lower. Ah. Uh. Anyways, you have the six, Kevin. Do you want to keep it or change it? Let's change it, Alex. Let's do that. It's now the queen. Lower than that lady. No, a duplicate. Oh, oh man. No. We're going to replace that card, and Justin, you get a free shot. It's the king. King. Good, good, good card. Lower, lower, lower. Lower than the king. It's a six. Uh, let's freeze. All right, he's going to freeze on a six as well. Kevin, this next question will go to you. Yes, sir. We asked 100 pediatricians, <laughs> would you take away their five-year-old security blanket? How many of these pediatricians said yes, they would? A five-year-old security blanket. Like Linus's. Oh, yes. Um, I tell you, you know, with security blankets, I believe that, you know, being a father myself, I believe that that is more intended for... Um, younger children than five years old I think it's more left up to the discretion of the parents so the pediatricians who would actually do it with the parents in the room I cannot believe would be a very high number so with that said I'm going to again lowball and say 35 35 out of 100 pediatricians say they would take away the five-year-old security blanket yes, Justin sir. do you think that's higher or lower than 35 uh, I'm gonna kind of agree with Kevin there. I I feel like five is right about the median range for a child to be without his security blanket. So I'm gonna say that's just a tiny bit lower. Say a tiny bit lower. Yeah. The actual number Peter Drishen said they would take away their five-year-old security blanket is twenty-five. It is lower by ten. All right. There you go. Yep. All right, do you want to keep the six or change it? Change that card, please. All right, the six now becomes a deuce. Ooh, higher. Higher than the two, it is a four. Higher again. Higher than the four, it's the jack. Mmm. Jacks were kind of wishy-washy to call. I'm going to go lower. All right, for the first game of $500, lower. No, the king. Oh, Dang it. Man. Almost had it. We're going to fill out those cards going back to your base card. And Kevin, you have a free shot at the great card, the queen. The We're queen of hearts. Lower than that lady. Lower than the lady, the jack. Let's go lower than that jack. For $500 in the first game, a two. $500. Awesome. Congratulations on the first game. Thank you. You're welcome. So one more game. You have $1,000 total. And so this is make or break for you, Justin. We're going to take a quick commercial break to go into the second game. We'll be back after these messages. Kevin's won the first game of $500. One more game, he'll have $1,000 total, and he'll go for a second attempt at the money cards. Where it's shuffled the deck and put out brand new decks of cards. So, Justin, this is make or break for you. And, Justin, this first question of game two will go to you. All right. 
We asked 100 millionaires, can money buy happiness? How many millionaires said yes, money can buy happiness? Oh, well, the conceitedness of some millionaires anymore, I would want to say that that's a high number, but then again, there's a lot of them out there that do have a pretty good level head on their shoulders with their money, so... I don't know. I would say that number is going to be right around 65. 65 out of 100 millionaires, you say? Yeah. Kevin, do you think that's higher or lower than 65? I think a lot of these millionaires nowadays are uh, self-made millionaires. Some are heirs and heiresses, but um, those who... I'm just going off logic here and thinking the these billionaires that were surveyed were self-made and they had to work hard for what they've earned, so I'm going to go lower. You're going to go lower. Yes, sir. The actual number of millionaires say that money can buy happiness is 30. It's a lot lower. Oh. Uh, yes. Money can't always buy happiness. Remember that. That's right. Oh, okay. no. Your first card is a three again. Higher than the tray. Higher than a three, a six. I'm a gambling man. Let's go higher. Gambling man, no, a three. Oh, dang, got it. I'm sorry. I don't control these cards. I don't know why I'm putting them in an order like this. You go back to your base card of three, and Justin, your card is a seven. You got to play this. Oh, I hate sevens. I know. Oh, all right. Let's go against the odds and let's go higher. That's against the odds. Higher than a seven, a jack. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Uh, let's go lower. Let's go lower. And I think it was with the odds for a seven when you said higher. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Lower than a jack? No, an ace. Oh. That dreaded ace. We're going to fill yep. out those cards, going back to your base cards, which is a seven. And Kevin, you get the next question. Right. We asked 100 Playboy Bunnies, are you a college graduate? How many of these Playboy Bunnies they are? Oh, let's open up another can of worms here, shall we? <laughs> yeah, and I meant to say, how many of these Playboy Bunnies said they are? I accidentally said, how many of these Playboy Bunnies are? How many are college graduates? Yes. Thirty. Thirty? Yes, sir. All right. Do you think that's higher or lower than thirty, Justin? Uh well I'd say most of these girls are college graduates. I'm gonna say that's a higher number. You say higher. Yeah. Well, I can tell you that the actual answer is 17. That's not higher, it's lower. All right. That's right. So, Kevin, you get control of the cards. And Let's what, go higher than that tray. He knows what to do. Higher than a three, an ace. Let's go lower than that ace. It's a two. Higher. Higher than a two. No. Ah. Dang it. A duplicate. A duplicate? Yes. No. I shuffle these cards. I always like it when they get so close, but we got to continue on. We can't rig the show. All right, Justin, you got that 70, and you must play it. Oh, great. I got to play it again. Okay. Uh, all right. This, this time around, let's go lower with it. All right. Now he's going to go against the odds. Lower than a 7, a duplicate as well. Oh, uh, all right, it's time for our third question. And Justin, you get this question. All right. This is an educated guess. How old do you have to be to get a pilot's license in the U.S.? How old do you have to be to get a pilot's license in the U.S.? Hmm. I'm going to say... Uh, 21. That's about 
what most things require anymore. I know you have to be 18 to get a driver's license, and I know you have to be uh, like 16 to get a boating license, but I would figure 21 would be a good solid age to, to go get your pilot's license. So you say 21? Yeah. All right, do you think that's higher or lower than 21, Kevin? I think he's exactly right, but I got to play the game and go higher. You say higher. Well, I'm going to tell you that the actual answer is 16. It is lower. It's not higher. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes, that's correct. All right, so Justin, now since you won the question, you have the right to change it if you'd like to. Yes, please do. I'm tired of looking at that 7. It's a 10. Mm. Not much of a difference. Well, I feel a whole lot more comfortable about a 10 than I do a 7, so let's call it lower. Lower than a 10, it is a 7. <sighs> hey, good grief. <laughs> I shuffled the I cards. I can't get away from those 7s. No, oh. you can't. Alright. Let's gamble, and I'm going to call it lower all right lower than a seven it's a two. Oh yes sir higher 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 than a two it's a nine freeze all right he's only got one more card to win and this is the fourth and final question somebody must win this on the play of the cards and kevin you get the last question for game two all right we asked one her psychiatrist would most women have a better life with a younger man how do these psychiatrists say yes? Well, um, I've seen many relationships and marriages where the men are younger, the older women. Uh, there are some, I have to believe, who do believe that. There are some who believe that being right in the same age range would be compatible. Uh, as far as the woman being older, I am going to give Justin a coin toss, and I'm going to go right in the middle and say 50. You're going to say 50 out of 100 psychiatrists. Yes, sir. All right. Do you think that's higher or lower than 50, Justin? Okay. Uh... I'm going to say that number is actually going to be lower than 50. You say lower than 50. Mm -hmm. The actual number of psychiatrists say that most women would have a better life with the younger man is 39. It is lower. All right. Yep. All right. So here's the situation. You have a nine. You only need one card to win. You could change this nine or you can play it and call off the last card or you could pass it to Kevin. Now, if you make a missed call, he retains his championship and has $1,000 total. If he makes a missed call, you win the game and we'll go into a tie game. So, play or pass? I'll play it. Alright, and since you have a 9, do you want to change it? Yes, please. Alright. The card's now an ace. Oh! Yes, lower. For a tie game, lower. It's a 2. A tie game. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, so you both have $500. We're going to go to our tiebreaker game, and in our tiebreaker game, only three cards will be dealt out. Let's deal them out right now. There you are. And since Kevin got the last question, this question will go to Justin. Okay, sounds good. We asked 100 men in prison, did you lie and tell your lawyer that you're innocent? How many of these men in prison said they did? Uh, in any instance, it always, well, most time pays to tell a little white lie every now and then, so I'd say that number is going to end up being around, uh, 60. 60. Yeah. Kevin, do you think that's higher or lower than 60? Well, um... I believe that every 
uh, the accused is always innocent until proven guilty, and even so, they never want to admit the truth a lot of the time, and other times, a lot of these, uh, the accused wind up being guilty. Now, you asked if there are, these are 100 inmates that are already in prison, correct? Correct. Okay. I am going to say the answer, the actual number is lower. You say lower. Yes, sir. All right. The actual number of men in prison say that they, that you lied and told your lawyer that you're innocent is 34. It's a lot lower. All right. Um, all right, Kevin. Here's first car, and it's a three. Please be higher. <laughs> Please be higher. The king. Lower. To continue your championship, lower a ten. To yeah. continue your championship. Congratulations, Kevin. Thank you very much, Justin. Great game. Really enjoyed it. I did too. Glad to hear that. Glad to have you here on Justin. We got some nice party games for you backstage. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Kevin. This was my dream come true. You're welcome. Thank you, Justin. We're going to take All a commercial right. break, and we'll see if Kevin can become the first person to crack the $40,000 jackpot. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Card Sharks. I'm here with our champion, Kevin Henry, who has a total of $4,300 in his pocket. And now he's going to be going for his third day after he competes in the money cards. How do you feel? I feel confident, ready to go. This has been a grand experience, and now let's make it even a 40 grand experience. Let's hope so. You cut the cards? I sure did. All right, here is the money cards. We're going to start on the bottom low of $200 and three... What was that? Were you saying something, Kevin? No. Oh, I thought I heard you. Anyways, I'm going to start from the top. We're going to start on the bottom level of $200, three cards on the bottom line. Bet that as you will. When you move up to the second level, we'll give you another $900 and three more cards. Minimum bets are $50 until you get up to the top card, the big bet, where you must bet at least half of your dollars. And if you get a double, don't worry about it. You don't lose. We'll just carry your bet over. Any questions? No, sir. Let's play some money cards. All right. Let's give the man $200, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see if you could become the first person to crack the $40,000 jackpot. Your first card is a two. Uh, let me think real hard on that one. Let's go all of it higher. <laughs> There's only one option. Everything higher than a two, the queen. Let's go all of it lower. All of it lower than a queen, a three. All of it higher. All of it higher than a three. The king. A clean oh, sweep on the bottom board. Excellent. You have eighteen hundred dollars. We're gonna move the king up to the next level. Give you nine hundred more dollars. You have twenty-five hundred dollars and the great card, the king. Let's go lower than that cowboy. How much though? All of it. That's you gotta remember. You gotta bet. But it's just as a reminder that if you get this wrong, there's only one card out there. So. Let's not think about that. All of it lower than the king, a six. Five thousand dollars and a six. Let's change it. All right. Let's hope it's a good card. An ace. All of it wow. lower. Oh my gosh. All of it lower, a six. Ten thousand dollars and a six. My goodness. No one's ever got this far with this much money. Whew. I know we got to, I know I don't have a lot of time to think here. Oh, six and you know what? I made a goal. I made a, I made a plan for myself. I'm sticking to it. $10,000 higher. That is what a I mighty gamble there. Yes. This is for $20,000. Higher than a six. No! Oh! I thought you could do no wrong, Kevin. Oh, man. I am so sorry. Made it exciting, though, didn't it? Yeah, it was exciting, though. It was exciting. You still got $4,300, and if only we saw your reaction there. I think you heard it. <laughs> oh, I heard it. Unfortunately, Justin's on his phone, and for some reason, 
it won't work on Kevin's side and my side, so. But you don't need your webcam on. It's, it's totally optional if you want to join our game shows. You'll be back for our third day to compete for an, with another challenger. And I want to thank everybody for watching our new episode of Card Sharks. Join us next time for the game of highs and lows. Good day, everybody.